I choose to photograph wildlife because it is just, it's my calling, it's what I enjoy doing most. I just love getting out in the middle of nowhere and seeing scenes and animal behaviour that many people would never witness in their lives and capturing it is just a cherry on top of the cake. I use the EM1X and also I use the EM1 Mark II as a second shooter. I don't leave any lenses behind because they're so much smaller and lightweight. So in my kit bag you will always find the 7-14mm, the 12-40mm, uh, the 40 to 150 and the 300 If I'm doing wildlife, primarily I'll be using the 300 if the subject is shy or quite small. But if I'm working with sort of wide angle shots as well, uh, it will vary between the two shorter lenses. I've got the new MC20 two times converter. So I've been using that with a 300 mil. It's 1,200 mil of focal length, which is pretty insane. So it's allowing me to get a lot closer to the subject. If I'm wanting those really sort of crisp, close details as well. It fits in a small bag. It's not weighing me down. It's sharp, it's pin sharp. Uh, I know people who've shot at eight seconds handheld. It's sharp. No system can do that in this market. Whenever I go and shoot a subject, no matter how much it's been captured, I'm trying to go in with a fresh mind and I'm there to capture certain images. So maybe I want backlighting. I need to set myself up between the pelicans and the sun. Usually with the Olympus, I shoot with the aperture wide open. And then if I'm trying to add motion blur in, obviously I'll use a slower shutter speed, about 1 30th or less. But yeah, I'm just trying to capture what I see and what I perceive. Um, and hopefully some of those will be a bit different, a bit unique. You've got to accept that it's not going to be very comfortable. You get cold a lot. Sometimes your patience is tested to the limit. You've got to be a bit tenacious. You've got to be passionate about what you're doing and uh, accept that you're going to have a bit of a rough ride along but it'll all be worth it in the end.